Hello, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm the Director of Technical Advocacy at Cohesity. Today we're going to take a closer look at GovCloud, more specifically how to protect your VMware workloads with backup as a service. So what we've seen so far is when we entered our GovCloud environment, we had a dashboard that let us know. From there, we landed on the Cohesity dashboard where we get some great insights into what's going on in our environment from a protection status perspective, which regions we're in, etc. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at what goes into setting up a protection job for vSphere workloads. First, you need a policy. So here you can see I have a list of policies and the one that we are going to focus on today is the TM policy where it's set to have the backup run every six hours and retain for two weeks. Now, alternatively, if you were interested, you absolutely have control over your backup windows and retention periods. You could create your own. All right, so now the next thing we need is a registered source. So if we head over into sources, we can see that we have varying different options from NAS workloads to M365. However, we're gonna focus on VMware today. I actually have uh, a few different vSphere environments registered and I have them registered to the AWS GovCloud region. Next, let's click on our vSphere environment. And as you can see here, we have a, some different options from tagging to folder views, etc. Now, in our case today, we're gonna go ahead and search for our machines and we typed in win. From a server perspective, we're gonna select just a couple here, and then we're gonna go ahead and click protect. Once we're in here, we can review that we have two objects selected, and we can now choose our policy. Alternatively, you could create a new one from here as well. We also can review the options at play, so we could click more options. And from here, we would get some insights, then some additional settings essentially, that might be of interest from start times to SLA windows and more. Once we have all of our additional settings the way we would like, we would then go ahead and choose protect. Now that we have our workloads protected, we have the ability to track our activity. We can see that the backups have initiated And we have the ability now to go ahead and initiate a recovery. So transitioning to recovery, I'm going to choose this uh, DMAS machine. We're gonna go ahead and from here, click recover. Now that we are in the selection area for recovery, we're gonna go ahead and send this to a new location. So we have the ability to evaluate the machine, check the IP, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and choose resources, my nimble storage, and the demo restores folder. From here, I'm also going to attach the network and make some selections around the environment that I want to restore to. 
Additionally, we have the ability to add a prefix. We're going to power state on and go ahead and uh, transition here over to recover. All right, so switching around the dashboard a little bit, navigating back to the activity screen, we can now see that the recovery is underway. Now, in terms of the recovery, this will the time will vary, but essentially once that's complete, then that wraps up this demo.